Hi, my name is Sunita Williams. I am a NASA astronaut. Um, I'm a Florida Tech alumni, and I'm here on campus for the graduation, and I'm actually giving the commencement address. It's really great to be back here in Melbourne and uh, talk to the students. I'm super excited to uh, see um, how the campus has changed and uh, all the people who are um, here for the ceremony. It's going to be really great. I'm psyched. So as a as test pilot, um, I thought I wanted to be an astronaut, learned about it, and I knew when I looked at the application process that I needed to get a, a master's degree. Florida Tech was obviously the, the best choice for me, and I got my degree in engineering management. And because of that, I think that was really the door that opened up that got me the application process into the application process and got me the interview to be a NASA astronaut. So I, uh, I'm very thankful for the school. So once I got into the astronaut office, there's a lot of training. Um, took a couple of years, but I finally got on a, a space shuttle mission that took me up to the International Space Station. I got to be part of the construction crew that actually built the space station. Um, and then after that, I was the deputy chief of the office and then got to fly on a Russian Soyuz spacecraft to the fully completed space station and do a bunch of science experiments and spacewalks. And then finally, now I am a uh, Starliner pilot on a brand new spacecraft, uh, getting ready to fly hopefully this year. And Joni and I flew on our first space mission together, STS-116. It was really cool. I think when we both were there at NASA training originally, we didn't know we both were Florida Tech alumni. And then as we were getting ready for the flight, hey, you know, where did you go to school? Like, oh my gosh. So we, we brought up our Florida Tech pennant when we were up there together, which was super cool. So that was really fun to um, be associated with somebody else from the university. Right now, I am a, the Starliner pilot. It's the very first mission where we'll have people on this spacecraft. So for the last, uh, honestly, eight years, I've been working to formulate and with the company, uh, the engineering process, how we're going to fly it, how we're going to operate it, how the next crews after us are actually going to use it for return to low Earth orbit and back to the International Space Station. So I'm getting ready to fly this mission finally. It's going to be more than likely this year. Um, we have a launch date of this summer, but we'll see how in case, you know, this is a brand new spacecraft and so we have to make sure everything's all squared away. So we'll see if, uh, if we're going to go in July or maybe a little bit later, but I really do think it's going to be this year. Florida Tech's location is ideal. It's right here on the Space Coast, um, right in the middle of everything that's going on. It's, you know, it's not only, you know, KSC, Kennedy Space Center, and Cape Canaveral, but all of the companies around here and the opportunities. I mean, it's just inherent in this area. And the opportunities, like I mentioned, just because of not only, you know, NASA, but all the space companies that are here, um, I'm sure it resonates with the students. I mean, their future can be in the space business easily if they want it to be, and they're part of it already as they're, as they're growing up here. You know, in my time frame as an astronaut, things have changed immensely. Like We were sort of stuck on what we were doing with the space shuttle when I first got to NASA. But because of the International Space Station, because of commercial crew, because of the public interest in understanding that we can do bigger things, I think the door is wide open. Of course, as NASA, we're, we're in the exploration business. We're going back to the moon to sustainably, and then we're working on trying to figure out how to get humans on Mars. But in the meantime, the commercial sector is just booming. It's pretty crazy if you look at what is actually happening, if you look at you know, for example, Starship for SpaceX, you know, like, whoa, what is that thing? You know, it's, I mean, it is just what anybody's imagination is becoming reality. And that is pretty exciting. Don't ever let anybody tell you no. I mean, if you want to pursue something, just go for it. You know, maybe you'll be successful, maybe you won't, but that's okay. You'll learn along the way. So don't let anybody tell you no, just go for it.